So let's go ahead and hit uh, record and play. Okay, so we're back now. Uh, we just recorded some guitar parts. Uh, before I go in and start explaining about the playlist, there's one thing that I forgot to mention before we recorded the guitar, and that is you need to set up a preference. Uh, if we look under Setup Preferences, we want to go to the Operations section of your Pro Tools Preferences, and you'll see on the right-hand side, sort of in the middle of this box, it says Automatically Create New Playlists When Loop Recording. So what this allows us to do is have all of our takes showing up as different playlists here. So if I want to switch to a different playlist, I can just go down and click on that. So if we listen to this, this should be... This was the first take we did. If I wanted to, I could switch to the second take. And of course, we have our original take. Which is more of an open feel. So, pretty happy about that in terms of switching around. There are ways we can go down here. You can create a new playlist that has all three of them in there. I also want to show you in your regions bin, you have the same takes. You even have the original. If I were to grab this top one that's in bold, if you grab that and, and drag it down, you'll notice it's the entire take. So Pro Tools doesn't actually break it up. Uh, it's just the playlists are, trunca are truncating it. It's, it's in chunks based on what your loops are. But you can even get back the entire recording. Uh, and you can make edits and comps that way. Or if you wanted to, you could grab each one of these and drag them in onto a file like that.